So Giannis and Greece have just made their first Olympics since Giannis has been a pro. He's going to the Olympics for the first time. And in that game, we might have found a guy that could make a return to the NBA and for the Milwaukee Bucks. Because the story of the game was Giannis played well, but it wasn't him needing to carry the team. And when he went out, they were actually able to go on runs because this is the best supporting cast Greece has had for Giannis since he's been playing with them. And there's a guy that really showed out today and might actually be what the Bucks need. And that's former NBA uh, player, first round draft pick, Giorgio's Papi Giannis, who knocked down five of eight threes today. He's a big man that isn't the most athletic, but he could be more mobile defensively than a Brook Lopez and could definitely give insurance if the Bucks do move on from a Brook or a Bobby. And I was checking just to make sure. It's not just a one-time thing right here. He averages 43, 44%, 44.3% from three in his career in the EuroLeague, 64% from the field. I'm just saying, at least maybe a training camp type deal, a prove it type deal. Um, I'm not saying like if you could get a Paul Reed, that would still be better, but it might be worth a shot, especially a guy that has some chemistry with Giannis. That could be a good pickup. Giorgio's Papa Giannis was on the Kings and the Blazers for a little bit, only stuck around in the NBA for three seasons. Nick Kalathis also for Greece, their point guard. Uh, he could definitely be an NBA player for a team that needs him. And if the Bucks didn't get already get DeLon right, I wouldn't be mad at them giving him a shot either because he's a true point guard, dropped a 20-piece today, and would be perfect for a team like the Suns that just needs a guy to get the ball in the hands of KD, Beal, and Booker. But it doesn't seem like they're going to do that. They're going to allow Kalathis to continue to just be a great overseas player. And now I wanted to drop a highlights reaction, wanted to have highlights here, uh, and I recorded it, but it just got taken down due to copyright. So I'm just at least talking about it because – I think it's worth mentioning that Giannis is going to be in his first Olympics and that there is a guy in there that maybe could be worth it for the Bucks. And then the last thing I want to add is that I know there's some Bucks fans that kind of wanted them to get knocked out so Giannis could get some rest. But personally, I'm a fan of not just the Bucks but also Giannis, and I want to see him do well. And I think this Greece team could have a shot to compete against any of those other countries because he didn't. they were able to get it done against a team with NBA players Sarich, Zubac, Hazonia, and without Giannis even dominating. He was on the bench for quite a bit of time. And now if you get a dominant Giannis performance and you're able to get these other guys stepping up like that, like a Papa Giannis, like a Nick Kalathis, any team with Giannis, if you've got competent dudes around him, don't count him out. And if Giannis wasn't playing in the Olympics, like what do you want him to do? Just sit on the couch until the season? He's not going to do that. He's going to be playing basketball. They're being smart with him. They're giving him minutes restrictions. So I think that you should root for Giannis to go um, go far in the Olympics. It's not like he's playing on like a torn MCL or anything like that. He's just, you know, he's got some mileage and that does worry me a little bit. He does go sometimes too hard for his own good. But I think overall, this is a great thing and we should be rooting for Giannis in the Olympics. But let me know what y'all think. Would you want the Bucks to go after Papa Giannis? You rooting for Giannis in the Olympics? Giannis Antetokounmpo? Let me know. Drop a comment, hit that like, and subscribe. Please? Yes, sir.